Yes, really. Hello everyone and welcome to the video. So in this video, what I wanna go over is in a moment, I will tell you what the release date is, but then I'm going to go over why it's almost certainly correct. So what is that? Leave a like and subscribe, then I'll tell you. Okay, thank you. Um, so if this is all true, which I do believe it is, and I will go over it in a moment, the apparent release date is October 1st, 2024. That's in like, just, that's in a couple of months. And if there's going to be a beta test, which I'll also talk about later on in the video, we'll probably be able to be playing this game one, two, three months prior to the release, because of course, they're gonna to wanna to put feedback in, like the feedback that we give them, if there's any server issues, etc., etc., etc. So the release date apparently is October 1st, 2024. Now what, how did this happen and why is this almost certain i don't say almost certainly why is this very likely to be true so before i get into anything this is not official as of right now summer games fest is in less than three weeks and i do think it will be revealed there regardless of when it is there is so and also before i get into it once again the only why that this is going to be official is if and when, or rather when, specifically Bandai Namco reveal the trailer, uh, reveal the release date in presumably an upcoming Sparking Zero trailer. Shueisha, Birch Studios probably won't announce it, and Spike Chunsoft, the developers, are not going to announce it. Just like how Dimps are not going to put out new information, it'll be Bandai that do it, if that makes sense. So. This is, as of this recording and upload, this is not official, but at the same time, people like DBS Hype, who has leaked things, especially for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in the past, like how Bardock was going to be the next DLC in DLC 4, like six, seven, eight months out, and how he said that there's going to be a third season of Kakarot DLC, I think over a year before Bandai had announced it on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Like, even if DBS Hype confirms this, it's like, I mean, if DBS Hype confirms it, it's, it's true, right? But again, even though he's exceptionally reputable, so is the person who leaked this, it's only going to be official once specifically Bandai Namco, specifically Bandai Namco themselves post it or confirm if it's true or not true. So do keep that in mind. So again, October 1st, 2024 on a Tuesday. No, wait, sorry, I'm British. <laughs> I can't even say it. I'm British, so... <laughs> October 1st, 2024, which is a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, oh, and again, I do know some games do tend to be released on both a Friday as well as on a Tuesday, so do keep that in mind right there. So the person who leaked this or found this is a gentleman by the name of Sergio M. Three. I will link his video about this, which was uploaded early today, in the description of the video if you want to go and take a look at it and all that good stuff right there. Now, why is it important that it's him that's done it? Sergio had, I believe he had the channel a while ago, but I believe he got into some copyright issues, maybe because he's been data mining stuff that Bando doesn't want to, so what went out, so maybe that's why his channel got copyrighted and then I think deleted, I'm not entirely sure, unless he just privated all of his videos. But Sergio has been in this community doing this, data mining specifically, for well over a decade. I wanna say at least 13, 14 years. I was watching him before I even started YouTube, like in 2014. So Serge, the way I know about Sergio is after, or maybe during the Xenoverse 1, yes, we have to go back to about August, September 2014 now, yes, 2014, to the first Xenoverse 1 network test. Once you got that, you could then, um, I have absolutely no idea how, they, how people do this, but it's people who are much, 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 much smarter than me. You can, if you've got it downloaded, you can then use some sort of programs on a, presumably on a computer, laptop, what have you, to then find information that is not available, you know, from like the player, like maybe a list of upcoming skills and stuff like that. And Sergio did do that. And this is actually how I found out that, I, I forget if it would have been gray tapes or golden gray tapes, as in golden gray tape, go, uh, baby Vegeta would be in the game. Now, of course, as of right now, and in Xenoverse 1, not playable, but you can battle against them. And the reason why is because he was able to find li a list of all the attacks that are in the game, just like, not what they are, 
not like uh, animation driver, just skills. And I believe this is how I found out about the Times 10 Kamehameha Super, uh, Spirit Bomb and Super Spirit Bomb and just a ton of other stuff as well. And I'm just gutted that I don't think that video is uploaded anymore because again, it was either copyrighted or he privated it or he's on a channel that was since deleted via copyright, so do keep that in mind right there. But he, in the past, even before Xenoverse 1, he had data mined Naruto games. I want to say the Jump game before Jump Force that came out in like 2011, 12, 13 for the PS3. I forget the name of it off the top of my head. Jump Heroes, I, Jump Star Victor, I think it's called. He data mined stuff in that that came true. So what I like about Sergio is that, and he mentioned, he's mentioned this in his own video, which again, linked in the description, that he only presents what he finds. So as you've probably seen on the screen already, this is, but I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's a website, but it's it's data from Bandai Namco. I don't know if this is a data breach. Oh man, I, I am also a side note. I am slightly trepidatious about doing this video and I don't want to say that to be like, oh, well, oh, guys, guys, oh, that was super secretive. No, no, it's because I'll be honest, it is for very selfish reasons. I have a very good relationship with Bandai UK, the UK branch of Bandai Namco. Like they invited me out to like the release of the London Bandai store. They send me stuff if I ask for it. Like they sent me a nerdy copy for free of Kakura of the Jojo PS3 remaster, I forget what it's called, with a Jolene statue, which looks kind of fun. <laughs> that, that sounds weird, kind of good. Um, they offered to send me a code for Breakers, but it would have been after it came out, like the day of, but I wanted it beforehand and I pre-ordered it. Don't worry about it, but I have, as of right now, with, with Bandai UK, because you know, I'm from the UK, I do have a good relationship with Bandai Nanko UK. And I don't want to do this video and be like, oh guys, this is information that they don't want out because it's whatever. <laughs> so if this video gets removed or if I delete it or private it, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna make it unlisted. It, probably nothing's gonna happen, but I just wanna say, don't worry about it, right? Uh, so whatever. But the information, I don't know exactly where it's from, but it's got the release date, as you've seen, of October 1st, 2024. Now, I know there's gonna be probably someone in the comments saying, oh no, actually, it's the 10th of January, 2024. In the UK, we do dates the correct way, which is the smallest to largest. So it'll be day, month, year, rather than month, day, year, or year, day, month, right? So what this is here, it's what I believe, I don't have it up as of me recording this. It's on the screen right now, but I don't have it up just recording the commentary. It is 2024, 1001. So the 1st of October, 2024, which just so happens to land on a Tuesday, Tuesday. So, and also yesterday I had uploaded the video of the Singapore government ratings website, which does show that the release year for Sparking Zero is 2024. So this all, it's just more evidence that yes, not only is it coming out this year, but it's probably going to be at some point, you know, early fall, like as in, I know September's like fall, like fall, right, or what have you. Like I consider fall to be October, November, December, the last three months. So this coming out at the start of it on the 1st of October is excellent. I do believe this. I did say yesterday that my prediction was for the release date uh, was, I want to get the comment up on my end right here, was the 25th of October, 2024 and Sergio actually commented on that video which I did slightly fanboy out because I've been watching him for years dude uh, his comment was like again it's on the screen he said, he said um, I think you bullseyed the month with a tongues out um uh call on P okay <laughs> yo is this MSN <laughs> back in 2004 and 5 wow so Again, look, what Sergio says, I don't wanna say it's gospel, but it kind of is, at least to some lesser extent. I personally believe this. Now again, Bandai Namco are undoubtedly savvy to this, that there's people out there that can find this information. So I am not going to be too surprised if this isn't the release date, but they put this here just as a like, well, if it's going to be coming out in fall, put it as the first day, right? Like that makes sense. Or just to try and trick people just in case they find it. Cause again, like I'm fair certain right now, Bandai do know when it's coming out. Like I, I, I think they've had the release date for a long time, like the exact day. Again, October 1st makes sense to me. Uh, yeah, but maybe they've not, well, they've not announced it because I mean, Summer Games Fest is what E3 
is now, right? Like E3 is done, bit of a shame, but that was the biggest gaming event of the year and it's now been replaced with Jeff Keighley's uh, Summer Games Fest. Biggest event of the year, to me, makes sense to put a new trailer out there where it's going to have the most eyes possible out of the entire year and put the release date there when it's going to be literally millions of people watching the live stream and recasts and all that stuff. That makes sense. I probably, well, I'm more than likely will be doing a reaction video. I won't be streaming it, but I will be doing a sort of like reaction video, you know, about it. So yeah, um, also, again, the last Dragon Ball console game, and I, I was thinking earlier, there's, as of right now, there's only ever been one Dragon Ball console game that had a like an online player versus player mode that didn't have either a pre-release demo or a beta test, network test, and that was Ultimate Tenkaichi. It, before Ultimate Tenkaichi, you had Raging Blast 2 and 1, then it was Burst Limit, like, and all three of those do have, even right now, playable demos which did come out like a couple of weeks or have you before the actual release of those games then before then you know the uh, burst limit you're going to the ps2 yes i know tenkai g3 gone a bit back to a full circle here i know tenkai g3 was or did have online for the switch but i'm not really going to count that because that's whatever but yeah um so just to, so am I saying that because that also means that there's actually a very 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 good chance that we're either going to get either and or both a pre-release demo for the upcoming Dragon Ball Sparking Zero game, and or probably just or we're going to get beta test for that so they can you know check out how the servers hand are being handled like when they're being stressed, you know um, if there's any sort of glitches and you would imagine that they'd want to do that and put the feedback in and make the changes at least a couple of months before the game comes out. So let's just say that it's coming out October 1st. Two months from October 1st, if it's going to be a couple of months out, is the 1st of August. So there is actually a slight chance we could be playing this in maybe July, August in terms of the undoubtedly inevitable beta tests. It's the middle of, it's like, what, the third week of May now? So it, how crazy is this? There is a possibility that we could be playing Dragon Ball Sparking Zero through the beta tests in only like another couple of months. That's that's so weird to me. <laughs> anyway, I've yapped long enough. I, I just genuinely can't wait for this guy. I just love talking about it. So I do apologize if this video is longer than it probably needs to be. Wrap up. Uh, Probably October and at that October 1st, it's been leaked by someone who has been, been in the community making content far longer than I have. His reputation is excellent. There's no reason for him to lie about this, there just isn't. Check out his video in the description of this video and thank you all, thank you all for watching. I can't even talk now. More videos on the screen right now and I will see you on one of these videos in just a moment.